Top story we're covering this morning is Defense Secretary Ash Carter, now in the middle of a personal email controversy, just like Hillary Clinton. The Pentagon admitting late yesterday that Carter used his personal email to conduct official business. My next guest is a best-selling author who advises many world leaders on, and celebrities on crisis management. We bring in now Robbie Vorhaus to the conversation. Robbie, good to see you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining no, us. No, so what's your pleasure. take on, on Ash Carter using the private email? Well, I think that, first of all, there are two issues, Maria. There's one, it's the political. Um, it's the Republicans wake up this morning and they know what fuel they're going to cook with today. Right. But the problem <laughs> is, is that it's every Republican's going to be saying the same thing except for one Republican candidate, Donald Trump, who's going to say the most bombastic things. Mm. He's the one who's going to get quoted. So it's going to be very hard for the Republicans to use this to differentiate themselves as candidates. Uh, from a security standpoint, it's it's over and done. They found out what it is. He's, he didn't break any laws. It's going to be a slap on the wrist. So it's kind of like Obama waking up this morning and saying, you know, have you ever been seasick and you've been on a boat and you say, I just want to jump off this boat and, mm -hmm. and get over the seasickness. I think he's had it with all these surprises and just wants to move on and, and let's see what happens. Well, the issue is the fact that the Pentagon is, is, is so much more hacked than other agencies. I mean, it's not a PR story. This is a national security right. story. It, it's a security story and there are people who have rallied behind it. They knew that the New York Times was going to come out with this. They done double, triple protection. So for, from a real security issue, it's not a story today, only the fact that another, another Obama administration person mm -hmm. used their personal emails, yeah. and that's the problem. It speaks to mismanagement. Yeah. It speaks to mismanagement throughout the agencies yeah. under the Obama administration, under President Obama's White House. That you don't like after Hillary Clinton, they weren't on top of it. They weren't on top of what was happening. Yeah. Clearly not. And uh, Ash Carter maybe doesn't care unless he wants to run for the presidency. What, what's well, your, yeah. I'm sorry. I think that the big issue here is, and it goes back to what was the the big issue in the debates and what all Americans are feeling is can. Can we be safe? Who's keeping us safe? How are we going to continue going forward and know that our children and our families are safe? As a country, we're safe. And when you see something like this, it doesn't help. It goes to clarity of vision. And if you're saying in the White House on a Sunday night in a speech, everything is okay, we're going to move forward and keep, keep this country safe, and then we look at, at this, uh, we don't feel so safe anymore. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what is your take on that in terms of national security being the top issue now for, for American voters? Who is the best candidate, do you think? Well, that's a good question. Um, I don't know that there is one. I mean, that's where if you look at the debate, everyone was kind of saying the same thing. I think that, you know, Chris Christie reminds me of my friends from New Jersey who will say, we'll get it done. But I think that he comes off for many people like a thug. And, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a tough one for people to wrap their arms around. I think uh, Ted Cruz is very strong in what he has to say. And I think that Donald Trump is going to resonate through this, through, through this by saying something bombastic that's yeah. going to get him quoted. You really think, uh, I, I want to go back to this mismanagement uh, comment that Dagan made. Would you have expected that the president, after the Hillary Clinton email mm -hmm. disclosures came out, would have, a CEO would have said to all of the direct reports, yeah, yeah. I want to know exactly who's got email, who's got outside email. Are you surprised that this, sub, uh, apparently this was not done? Uh, this look, was not done at the highest level. Are you surprised about that? You know, Gary, I, I think that once again, like any CEO, what keeps a CEO up at night? It's what he doesn't know. He or she doesn't know. Right. And I think that in this case, Obama's waking up this morning or woke up yesterday morning when he found out about it and just he probably cursed. He probably, you know, Michelle probably gave him another whack and said, when are you going to get your handle around this? You know, something has to change. So I think that there is probably... From a political standpoint, I don't think Hillary's happy about it, but I think from a management leadership standpoint, I don't think anyone's happy about it. Yeah, anyone's happy about it, but what are the implications? Do you worry that this does open up the, the United States in terms of hacking and in terms of, you know, threats? Oh, I think, look, I think that we are open to it, Maria. I think that there are really smart people doing really strong things every day. I think it's just another example of the fact of what has to be done and somebody needs to come in there and say there, there's a no tolerance policy yeah. and when you see this it's not Obama. Mm. Robbie, good to have you on the show. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Robbie Borhouse is the author of the best-selling book, One Less, One More. We'll see you